Hey everybody, I uh, just um, thought I would do a quick video. I have bought a battery shutoff uh, because my car, I don't drive it in the winter time and the battery runs dead. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, buy this. I think it was $15 maybe on eBay or Amazon. I think it was Amazon. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take you through installing this on my car. Hang on. So here it is. Just this little dude. And now it's broken. Nope, oh, nope. Didn't break it. That's it. It's just as simple as car runs, car doesn't. Battery drains, battery doesn't. What you do, is, since this is a negatively grounded car, you connect the negative to here, and then another battery negative cable from here to the battery. And this separates the two. Turn it off. No, con uh, no connectivity. Turn it on. Connectivity. Should be super simple. And this is a little plate for the back. And I got... Uh, Four mounting screws, so we'll figure out a place to mount it. Hopefully, there's a good spot to mount it, uh, and uh, we'll get this done. Here we go. Also, I bought a battery cable, just negative extender, and some assorted clips ends to uh, to make it so they can attach to this guy. These were about $15, so I think $30 total. Don't quote me on the price of this because I don't remember. They range in value or in cost from about $8 up to well over $100. There was one that I would like to do someday because uh, I think it would be cool. It's not any more or less functional than this, um, but it's, uh, it's solenoid driven, so there's no like manual... You know, how terrible is that? I have to use my hands to turn this on and off. Uh, so it's actually wired into your power. And you can put a little toggle switch inside your vehicle. Flip the switch, battery's cut off. Flip the switch, battery's back on. Uh, much easier than having to get out, open your hood, turn the thing. Uh, plus it looks kind of cool. You get in the car, go to start, oh, it doesn't work. Flip the switch, whatever. Anyway, uh, but that's about a hundred and something dollars plus these, so $15, 10 or 15 whatever I paid, versus 100 I'm cheap. Boy, that would have been cool. be safe. I'm going to completely disconnect the battery. So I went ahead and moved the battery out of the way so I can have better access.
Now it shouldn't matter which one goes to the battery, which one goes to the ground on the car, uh, because the point is it's just disconnecting the circuit. But since it's going to go this way, I'm going to orient the top one to the battery and the bottom to the ground. I want to reuse this end, so I'm going to cut about here, and I need bigger cutters. Actually, And through the magic of YouTube, I got this stripped. So I just need to put it in here. Crimp these around. Okay, so this is tightened up nice. I got a good spot for it. Get the square over here. Positives over there. And get the battery back in. Test the battery. See, we have 12.85 volts. Bring this over to ground. We have nothing. Switch that on and bring this over to ground. There we go. 12.8. This is kind of a waste. All right, done. So there we go, it took me a little bit longer than I expected just because I fought a little bit with how to mount this down here. But this plate ended up being a great spot. This hole just seemed like it was made for that. It fits just perfect in there. Uh, so. Got the battery connected right now. See my light over here works. 
when I switch this off, battery is disconnected and we won't drain. Back on. So there you go. That is how to install a battery cutoff. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Just hit the comments, hit a like if you like it, and I will see you guys later.